Greetings and welcome to Death Democratiska Vermen and the city of Stockholm. Where we last last left last left off. And last time round again you have to accept the concept of chronology and it does exist after all, so let's uh, let's let's just roll with it. Uh, last time around, we, uh, or rather the before last time around, we realized that there was a big problem with our steel industry. We were not getting the steel out, or rather we were not even making the steel because we did not get the iron in. But now, however, we are filled up on iron and even on, no, well, we have 260 tons of iron there, that's enough to have us going and enough to be filling up the trains here what i really wanted to check in on though how are you doing what well, still at 154 tons i believe that that is what it was last time as well the astute person is free to go back to the previous episode and check whether i was right or wrong let's see did you make it past the diamond crossing? Yes, you did. How excellent of you. Now, look at this train. I believe that this will be the most valuable train in history once it gets going. It has 75 tons of chemicals on board. Uh, you have zero chemicals in your place of export. It is all going to the train, um, and really these uh, trucks are no bottleneck whatsoever, whatsoever. They are doing a beautiful job. Did you go? You went empty. Why would you go empty? What are you doing? You are the same thing, but you are waiting to load. Should I tell you to wait to load? Wait until full? I suppose I have to. I don't want you to go around empty burning fuel for no good reason. I mean, there is uh, certainly no shortage. But anyway, why? Why waste when you, when you don't have to? So bets on what this will be worth. We have just about half capacity. Carries 165 tons, we got 78, so a bit less than half on board, and it will be at least 2.7, 2.8 million dollars when full, I think. What are you... are you lacking anything? Could we make you happier? Could we make you work faster? If we were to send another bus up here, for example, that would provide you with more workers. Would that then uh, be a problem? Because you wouldn't have enough oil available. And would I be willing to cut even another oil? No, 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 no. That is not acceptable. However, let's try and see what happens if we put another big bus on here. And which station should we choose? For, for the moment, <coughs> this one certainly seems uh, the most suited. So you go there and then you go here and start. And you see, these, uh, the, this plat bus platform is uh, configured to only accept workers, so there's no need to be telling the bus what to do, because there will only be workers waiting. I think that, yeah, I like this mod a lot. Uh, maybe it uh, could stand to use a bit more crops uh, to keep it a bit more. Uh, make it a bit more expensive to, to make uh, 
make chemicals. But it is using a lot of oil, 50 tons per day. Uh, let's, uh, I hope it's not too cheaty, this uh, mod. Maybe it is too unbalanced, and if so, I will have to scale it down a bit. I have been thinking though, that since we now do chemicals, what does it take to do plastics? Because I always want to make my own electronics, but never gotten around to it. Plastics factory. You do not need wood. I do not need to cut down trees in order to make plastics. That is very good to know. This sounds like yet another thing to put the people of Kirarush to work at. We have so many people out of job here that it is just ridiculous. And uh, let's say we were to put in a, a bus station like here and then take a well, we could reuse the old tunnel through the mountain and put a plastics factory here and then once we have the plastics factory we could we could very well get into I believe the uh, electronics is within our grasp yes because the electrical components need plastic, steel, chemicals, which we got all of that. And the electronics assembly hall to make electronics needs electrical components, which we will make at the electrical uh, components factory. And it needs plastics, which we'll make at the plastics factory. And it may, needs mechanical components, which we already make. How much is this? 260,000 rubles. 700,000 rubles. 350,000 rubles. How much rubles do I got? 600,000 something rubles. All right then. Well, I suppose that we could start by uh, expanding into the plastics industry because out here we do have what we need. We need oil and we need how much uh, you never know these things beforehand. Various industry. Uh, the plastics factory needs 35 tons of oil per day and 10 tons of chemicals. That's a lot of both chemicals and oil. Uh, we can take the oil out of uh, this pump, maybe. And have it around here somewhere. Yes, I think. We could use the same source of workers. We could expand this area a bit. Should we? I think we should. Yes. We are going into the plastics industry. Because we finally have a plentiful resource of uh, chemicals available and this will entail a lot of this initially I am sorry I am fully aware that this is no fun and if it's any consolation it is no more fun for me uh, now what would be really great, and not only great, in fact, what would actually be rather necessary would be to get a road in here. But we are never going to get a road down there unless I try and massage train a bit, maybe. Let's, oh, let's try racing and see if we can't get it. Yes. Try and ease it down a bit. 
here. Like that, maybe? It is still rather steep, but uh, just maybe, maybe. Would you look at that? And a building is on fire. What is on? No. Uh, pipe a pumping station. This is one of those things that I just have to go tend to because I am a cheap, cheeky bastard when it comes to oil and industry and the process of extracting the oil out, out the ground. And this is going to cost me significantly. But we are demolishing it, and that means that the pipelines will go away. And that was an adding, but we might as well have a splitting. Right, we're going from down. No, we're going the other way. We're going uh, this way. And yes, it is a good idea to have an adding if I were to find more oil out here, for example. Let's get that built immediately. Let's just gamble on the fact that this will be enough not to... What? No! Cra <clears throat> That's what you get when you gamble. Uh, let's do that again and this time put it the right way around. You are an out. You have an in in that direction. Uh, we we'll shall snake this along the ground. Hill causing an obstruction. I doubt it very much. There we go. By three, I didn't even look. 300 and something thousand rubles I saw. And another 80,000 to get the pumping station in. Okay, sorry about the digression. Let's get back to the chemicals and the, no, the plastics business, the plastics factory. The plastics factory, where are we? We are here, we are going over here. Yes, I do find my way around my Republic. Here we are. Now, let's have a look at the plastics factory and see what it looks like plastics factory plastics factory various industry plastics factory how many workers do you need 100 okay so not that many but quite but not insignificant in any way right then oh you are small you are really small okay uh, we have Pipe connection is that way. We have a cargo connection going that way. We could also put a fire station down here. Um, let's leave enough room if I wanted to connect something to the warehouse a connection there on the left on the building. If you consider the tooltip where that is down, and I think that if we put it in here, yes, and yeah, let's get uh, let's get this road built, and uh, what the hell? It's only money, two hundred thirty-six-three thousand rubles. I don't have that much, <laughs> so uh, yeah, so yeah. Well then. What is a benevolent dictator to do in a situation like this, where he doesn't have enough money for his grandiose project? That is another 264,000 rubles, and we have a balance of, and it's the balance is going down. Why is the balance going down? Why is the balance going down? Chemicals last month half a million. This month eighty thousand. 
I'd say that we'd want the truck. No, the truck. This one, no, one of these anyway. That's what the one that goes to the customs house. Not that one. It's not th that one. They they all that is this one. When you are here. The Kielarush Road Cargo Station 2, is that? Yes. When you are here, where you are apparently loading anything that is available to you, which you should not be doing, you should only be loading up on chemicals, then you wait until you are loaded, because we need it. It is important. Uh, it is actually a bit more important than this train. Uh, we have 380 workers here now, but we don't have enough oil. And it's a train. How are we doing? I mean, I still, I, I need to wait to get my ruble count up anyway. So let's go and have a look down here. How are we doing? We have a lot of that. We have none of that none no what we have here which isn't connected to anything and no one is we are running quite well uh, these trains are standing here and waiting to unload so we I'd say that we still have a surplus of oil here and maybe then maybe then we could what is going on here Nothing bad. Everything is normal. It's just that we have a lot of traffic that's all managed to get caught in this uh, passing short passing area in between the tunnels. Yes, I was thinking of retiring yet another train from here. Your, your bottleneck is oil. And if we really want to uh, maximi maximize, go for absolute maximum pensions mode here, we want as much oil as possible available. So let's put you there. Is this a nice one as well? Yes, I believe it is. I believe it's the same model that uh, the other one. Well then, maybe we should retire the other train, which is one of these. And you are currently empty. You are heading through the tunnel. That means that, well, if I would not have unclicked you... <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and cheat just for a little bit. I'm going to pause the game, turn you around and tell you to go here. And hopefully I caught it just in time before it gets. See if we, it would have made its way onto the one-way track, I would have an issue. But since we're still here, on the single bit of track, we can turn around and everyone will just have to wait because the signals are red. And as a train driver, when you have a red signal, there is really nothing you can do but sit around and wait for the signal to turn green. Which it will either do when, uh, like in this case, when you see a uh, a colleague coming down the track and you can wave and you can toot your horn maybe like that and uh, then just wait for him to get past you why and you think why didn't the rail engineer put in a release signal earlier so that I wouldn't have to sit around here and wait and I didn't make it through he made it through before me god damn it I saw him coming I should have been able to time it better so that I would have made it before the other train but then again he was an, a downhill and I was in an uphill 
as I've said, besides the smoke coming out of the cooling towers, it is really, it really is a lovely thing, this. <laughs> And here we have the possibility to add another, yet another high voltage connection. <clears throat> and doing that would get us up to like 60, high 60s, if we were able to maximize that power line. But where would we take it? We are exporting maximum to all of the, uh, to all of the Soviets. We are at maximum capacity. You don't want power. Uh, you do want power, and you're getting all that you can manage. And over here is you do not want power. And over here is NATO. And what do we have here? How much are we pulling through here? Okay, well, this is one simple case where we could. Uh, just by doing a very simple line here, it will not be exported for rubles, but dollars, but it still means that we'll get a bit more load on the power plant. And that is what we want. Yes. Now you are without power supply, you're telling me. That has overloaded the line, unfortunately. Put it that pull it back one step. And let's see if the voltage won't climb up again over time. I think it will. Like that. Go back. You go back. Uh, three. You should be able to do three. Yes. I think that that's good. Where is this line going? And why is it here? Why is it existing? And, and why? I mean, I think that we can agree that this one, by this time, has served its purpose and is no longer needed. So I shall cut it off, cut it off there and don't tell me that again. <laughs> I am finding myself tracing power lines at night. However, this one, isn't this the one that goes, the one that we built for, what do we have here? Is No, there's no switch. There's just one high voltage line, high, yes, high voltage power line going past another one. I hope that I'm still following the correct. You are apparently going down here where you're crossing the river. Go here and here is a bit of a mess. I'm pretty sure I'm still following the right one, yes. <laughs> and, well, where, where do you go? What? Are you kidding me? You are already connected. But you are not turned on. Well then. No, not, it's not the, not, it's not the, the other one, the other one, wasn't there? What? I am confused. I am confused. I am confused. Did I 
not go the right way back. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's uh, let's do this the trial and er error way. What just happened? I'm very sorry about this. I'm very sorry about this completely confused mess. Here is something. But that is cut off, apparently. Where is this? That is not off. But you, I believe, are not. Ugh. Only one way to do it, <laughs> and that is to follow the line. I know that it was the outermost line here. Oh, it was this way. You see, it is a bit easier to do this during the day. And no wonder I couldn't find it, because I went the completely wrong way. It was this way, over by Vraska. And not only over by Vraska, but Vraska itself, actually. And let's see if we can't make this go up. Yes. We're now at 52 megawatts. When 1.2 one gigawatts is what we need uh, however I'm not sure that we have the technology available to to reach such a level of power uh, is there maybe another one close by like this one for example yes you are dead uh, let's uh, let's repurpose you. I think that you were some legacy power exporting thing. Let's do that. You're already set to the 30 megawatt setting. And let's put in a bit of high voltage line here. Like so. There we go. Doing everything we can to Take every piece of power possible out of out of that power plant. And no more power connections. I've already been past this. Yes, one thing that one could do then would be to build or rebuild, repurpose maybe this line. Let's see where it goes and how much trouble it would be to reroute this to go to the new power plant. But yes, I've been over this before and it is integrated with our internal. What? What is this? What is this? It is not integrated with anything. It just ends here. I know what I need to do, I need to build a power line from here to, to the new power plant. How do one how does one go about doing that? Rather than following the as the crow flies, I think that will go as the train goes out here. Yes, look at that train line going underneath the high voltage power lines here. Very nice indeed. You can all can even have it crossing over 
just for the sake of it. Is it the case, however, however, that we cannot get across there? Yes, that is the case. I just want to check that we are exporting. Yes, we are. Uh, so what we need to do then is take this over to here. Yes, yes. This will be so cheap. I will not be able to afford this. Are you snapping on to? Yes. Thank you. Uh, and now we are again. I don't want to do it straight over all of this stuff. No. Let's do a bit like this way and this way and come in over here. No? Yes? Uh, and yeah, we're going down there. And the beauty of this one is that I already have it, have it. There's a building in the way. No, don't do this to me. Crossing not allowed. Come on, man, don't do this to me. I want to be able to use all of my... However, there is... Yes, there are only supposed to, put to be three of them. Okay, that is one and a half million rubles. I don't have one and a half million rubles, now do I? Uh, I have 300,000 rubles, and how is that uh, chemical track doing? Has it done anything useful? No, not really. I think he will continue to not do much useful things. Uh, yes, people, we are using the pensions fund for this. And we shall not speak of it, because den som är satt i skuld är icke fri. And we would not want to be put in debt now, now would we? No, we would not. Let's go and, and check. Uh, that would be, would it be here? No, that's not. I don't even know where I built it. Where was it? I know that it went by here, yes. This crazy bit. Ah, sorry, I that's not good. I clicked the wrong... I found that it's from Rubles, and I am now... <laughs> it is, well, it is interesting to keep it running, uh, which will keep the Ruble count Ruble balance really low. <laughs> However, since we are constantly exporting power, there is. But no, let's. We take that out of the pensions fund and we do not speak of it again. After all, he who is in debt is not free. Isn't that so? Mr. Udförande. Why did I close that down? I wanted to see the increase in power as the line was ready. And of course, once the line is ready, the bus hasn't been for a while. Here's a bus. He has workers on board. Very good. Very good. Thank you.
and the sun is setting and we are getting ready to say good night but not just yet it is a bit worrying that the uh, ruble count keep is keeping here at this level it means that something somewhere is lacking in some resource Yes, this was the project that I started. I remember now. <laughs> I remember now. <coughs> uh, I remember now. How are you doing? You are... Well, you're getting there. You are getting there. 142 tons of chemicals. 400 plus workers. Lots of oil. Actually running out of crops, but you will import, and I believe that it, that would be a profitable prospect to import. Uh, what are you doing? We're going there to load up on crops, which is good, because we need crops here. So, yes, the ruble count is starting to build up again, finally. We were getting into the business of plastics. <clears throat> However, it is time to say goodnight. And we say goodnight here out by the chemicals factory where we are loading up the most valuable train in the history of the Republic and next time around maybe we'll get to actually get into the plastics industry if we can manage to save up some rubles but I think that we can be quite in agreement that that is unlikely to happen with that I thank you profusely for watching and wish you a good night <laughs>